Before I attempt to get my puppy to play with distractions like this, another puppy, I already know how my puppy likes to play. I've already done some exploratory play with my puppy, as you saw in the first video. I know what kind of toys he likes. I know what's really high value for him. So I won't put him into a situation where I'm gonna set him up to fail. I also have a policy at home that my dogs have very, very low value toys to play with on their own. So in the home, they have um, Kong toys, chewy, chewy toys, nothing that I want to interact with them with. So the toys they have at home are very low value. The toys I use for training are very high value. They're our agility toys. The dogs only see these toys when they are training and they only interact with those toys with me. So I don't allow my dogs to have their high value toys and play with each other with those toys. So it's always with me. So they learn that these very high value toys come attached to me. So I really am the keeper of the joy. I have all the joy and the joy is accessed via me, not through their own ways. I would keep a session like this really, really short and make sure I finish when the puppy is really on that tuggy. He really wants that tuggy. That's when the game ends. So what if my puppy won't play? Well, some puppies are very happy to play at home and they feel very safe and secure at home and they're very happy in that environment. But when they get to somewhere new, they actually feel a bit worried and they don't feel safe enough to play. And in that case, I wouldn't ever pressure a puppy like this, a sensitive puppy to play. I would just switch to something they do like food, but I would keep the food really up and exciting, not boring. You know, you have um, cocktail sausages, I would throw them, I would run around with them and make it really interactive. Again, same there if my dog doesn't like toys. I'm going to use food or something that they do like. I don't care what it is that they like as long as they stay engaged and happy. If my dog or puppy is too distracted, I need to de decrease the distraction level. So I need to remove the puppy slightly from that distraction. So I would build up the distance and keep the puppy further away. And if my puppy wanted to play with the other dog and not me, I would go away and work on my relationship a bit more. I would limit their interaction with other dogs whilst really building value for myself. So I would make sure that I, again, am the keeper of the joy. I have all the goodies, all their food, all their treats, all the fun comes from me. So I'd really work on that first.